In this video, I'll show you how to install your AccuLink Throttle Position Sensor, or TPS. The AccuLink TPS system is the combination of a sensor, brackets, and linkage that bolts directly to the carburetor. This system replaces the traditional cable actuated throttle position sensor. Cable operated systems can be difficult to get right. Some custom fabrication is usually required and not everybody gets consistent results. HGM studied this problem at length and invented our own solution that fits most popular carburetors, the Holley, the Edelbrock AFB, and the Rochester Quadrajet. The AccuLink TPS is compact and has a very direct linkage. Installation and calibration require a few simple steps and no custom fabrication. First, we'll unpack all the parts. Next, we'll assemble some of the components. Then we'll install it on the carburetor. Last, we'll check alignment and connect to the CompuShift wiring harness. Let's get started. When you unpack your AccuLink kit, you will have the following parts. The adjustable arm is made from two small screws and two sliding arms. You'll also have a mounting bracket and the sensor itself, which will connect using these two large screws. The ratio arm is made from a medium-sized pan head Phillips screw, a washer, a nylon lock nut, and this arm and pin. A cable tie is also included. You'll use it at the end. The first component to assemble is the adjustable arm. Insert the screws through the arm with a large slot. Gently snug them into the threaded holes on the other arm so the arms can still slide past each other. Now you can install the AccuLink TPS. This process is similar on any carburetor. I'll demonstrate on this Holley. The installation is identical on an Edelbrock. The Rochester Quadrajet is a bit different, so I'll show you the differences when we get there. The first component to install is the ratio arm. Find the ratio arm, screw, washer, and nut. The ratio arm mounts where a kickdown cable normally attaches. Start with the peg on the ratio arm facing outward. Insert the medium screw front to back. On the Rochester Quadrajet, you'll need the washer. Insert it behind the linkage. On the Holley and Edelbrock, you don't need the washer. In all cases, finish with the nut. Gently snug it up, but do not tighten it all the way. The position of the ratio arm is critical. On the Rochester, set the ratio arm so that its pin is vertical. On the Holley and Edelbrock, set the ratio arm so that the center of its pin is aligned with the edge of the carburetor linkage. Tighten the screw and nut. Now, install the sensor and bracket. Connect the sensor to its bracket so the plug end points upward. Use the two long screws and tighten gently. Attach the fully assembled AccuLink TPS to the carburetor using the side rear carburetor manifold bolt. The TPS must be aligned with the throttle linkage. Here I'm using a small ruler to check. By loosening the TPS bolt, I can rotate and align the sensor. Next, Set the proper length of the adjustable arm. Adjust the length so the edge of the hole is aligned with the center of the TPS pin. Tighten both screws at this position. Connect the arm to the TPS. For proper installation, the linkage needs to move through its full range of motion. On a carburetor with a cold choke, the fast idle cam will be engaged preventing the throttle from fully closing, so it's important to disable the fast idle. Test the linkage motion. Be very sure that no part of it hits the TPS. Check the arm with the throttle fully closed. There should be tension on the arm and no free play. Correct any free play by slightly shortening the arm. The position of the TPS bracket must clear the secondary butterfly linkage. This is especially important on the Rochester Quadrajet. Adjust or move the TPS bracket as necessary. Hold the carburetor linkage in the fully open position. Confirm the TPS has some remaining rotation by pressing on its arm. The TPS should not reach the end of its rotation in either direction, but be slightly off the stop at each end. This is very important. If the arm is not properly adjusted, the TPS will send incorrect signals to your CompuShift controller. Do not lubricate the linkage. The AccuLink system is designed to work without lubrication. Most lubricants will attract dirt, shortening the life of the system. 
Finally, it's time to connect the TPS into the CompuShift system. Snap the TPS plug from the engine and power harness into the Acculink TPS. Be sure to push the plug fully into the socket by squeezing the plug and sensor together. It's best to use two hands. It's important to secure the wire away from engine heat and moving parts. From the bottom, feed the cable tie through the slot in the TPS bracket. Cinch the cable tie around the wiring harness. Trim the excess tie length. This completes the installation of your Acculink TPS. After you've done the rest of your CompuShift install, you will need to calibrate the sensor. Refer to the CompuShift online manual or watch the video to learn how to do this properly.